Hey guys, this is Mainak, your civil bro, and welcome back to our channel. So now today we are going to work on a new building plan, and uh, this is the building plan. This is a G plus one building plan. This is made by someone else, my friend. So uh, you can see here, uh, this is a simple building here, and uh, this is the staircase, and you will have the uh, one, you know, this bedroom here. And one bedroom here, one one kitchen here, and there are two toilets. One of them is an attached toilet, and one of them is a common toilet. A pretty simple plan. So he's made it this plan in MM, and he's asked me to just uh, find out the structural drawing of this. So let's go. And uh, you know, all uh, I have made a detailed course on Statpro and RCDC where you can see uh, find all the detailed. Uh, things and some live projects also along with all the AutoCAD files so you can download uh, the files and practice it from there so uh, if you are very serious on this you can just uh, check out my uh, course on Udemy okay uh, okay so let's start so first of all when you have a plan like this uh, what we'll do uh, we'll just uh, this is an MM so uh, we'll just save another file we don't, don't want to just interact with uh, this file so we'll make the center line of this particular drawing so for that we'll save this file again i'll just go save as drawing and in this very folder we'll go do here uh, center line for stat you can use it for etap stackla also i'm just with, uh, in this we'll go to do with stat and rcdc so center line for stat and save it and now we're going to delete uh, all the unnecessary things which we uh, uh, actually don't need just to show you uh, the entire uh, you know process uh, actually he has already made the center line but i'm just going to show you how to make this uh, center line so that in case you don't get confused so i don't need the dimensions right now just uh, select the dimensions right click and go we'll select similar and then delete and then we'll delete the some other things which we don't want in our drawings okay let me see how which are what is the dimension of the columns which he has given so it's uh, strange dimension settings I think it's not done okay no problem let's we'll see select this uh, match properties I may enter and then uh, 300 and 300 columns okay so uh, yeah we're good with that so no problem then select this delete so uh, right now uh, first of all let me see the layers you don't want okay no he has not created any layers so we'll just take a line along with the column center and we'll just uh, I'll just uh, put it in a layer, layer properties and click on new layer and this will be the center line and we will take uh, let, let's say red for this just to be sure and we'll turn this layer on and this is also just make the center line as well so just very simple procedure I'll extend it and uh, this uh, particular uh, list copy and uh, paste it here for the longitudinal part and let's go for the vertical ones and uh, let's take this center here like this and we'll just select okay, i think i've made multiple lines so we'll just delete them and escape and then extend this and then select and then copy it to different pages let's see okay i have missed a spot there i'll just do it later and uh, here as well Okay, uh, here two columns are there. So prefer three columns actually. Uh, just to stay connected. Okay, no problem. I'm not changing his column position for now. But I prefer three columns here. Uh, just to make sure. Okay, let, let me see. Uh, what's the length of the beam here? It's okay, again the dimension settings is not done. So. so now uh, let's see annotate and i'll do this as anything iso 25 standard okay let this change the dimension settings a bit modify text and uh, text height let's do this is an mm right so let's do 150 okay and set current close okay so it is four meters so 4 meters I think 4 into 3.28 if you do it this will be 13 feet so yeah we are good I think let, let us not change its column position so uh, yeah this is the uh, central line of the primary beams and that will be also be a secondary beam here which you would like to give and for the secondary beam I will just take this and 
I can put it at the center, but since it's a 5 inch wall, if you want you can put it at the center as well. Let me try that. I'll just put it at the center. I'll just take this here and I'll just move it to the center. Exactly at the center, uh, we have put it. So uh, now uh, you just delete the parts which you don't need. First of all, we don't need the staircase, but we'll remember that in the staircase portion there will be no walls here. So we uh, the primary ones let's just shift and deselect and delete and the secondary beams select like this and deselect this by shift done and here also there is some things to select so these are the tricks which you can use shift and deselect and delete so don't want any leftovers just make sure you don't have any leftovers okay and this so, so uh, previously also I had uh, you know done a uh, uh, video where uh, we had columns in all locations now you don't have columns in all locations this is more of a practical situation where you receive this kind of drawing so it will be helpful for you I guess mm. Okay, yeah. line here, I right? seeing that. Yeah. So make sure there are no uh, such extra lines. And uh, actually, we have to. I'm just saving this. We have to see uh, for the column position the other locations as well. So uh, this uh, thing, right click and uh, select similar. Now just select all the similar things and delete. So now we'll just use the trim command. Tr enter in the new AutoCAD version. Very helpful and TR double enter in the old AutoCAD version so the new one has some cool features uh, the AutoCAD I'm talking about so this is a secondary beam we want this only up to uh, this much and uh, yeah we have kind of let's see the original uh, drawing uh, so uh, original drawing this plan and we see it and uh, this has yeah, this 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 column is going only up to this much. So uh, we don't have a column here. We use the trim command just up to this much. So this is a very pretty simple uh, location for the center line. And we'll just press Ctrl plus S to save this file. Uh, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven columns. So we remember the column positions, or else anyway you can just uh, go back to the plan and check for the column positions properly. So this is a very simple plan. So once this file is ready, uh, we have to convert this in uh, you know your meter because the unit really which works properly in STAT is meters. So um, I'm just going to show you very quickly how to convert this in meters. I'm just going to click a new file here like this, and I'm just going to do the UN enter, and the unit will be uh, I'll have three places accuracy in this code, and the unit will be in uh, meters. Just click on OK and uh, really don't have to do anything else and I'm going to use the same trick uh, the line uh, so first point we'll just 0 comma 0 enter and then I'll just uh, turn on the ortho and then this is the line here and for the stat uh, for this option I'm just selecting this and uh, control plus C and bringing it in this drawing one control plus v and this is uh, the drawing now this drawing is has to be scaled actually so what we'll do we'll select the entire uh, you know drawing here so mm, this one we'll see this particular uh, section this is actually 3.655 so you'll use this for conversion so there are a lot of ways I'm just showing you a very simple way here you can also use the scale command I'm just going to use the align command so this is this line is okay I'm just going to keep this dimension on for now 3655 so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to uh, draw a line here of uh, 3.655 right so you can see this is the line very small line okay so now I'm going to select the entire uh, uh, building or building plan and I'll make sure the bottom line is not selected 
uh, yeah it's not okay the entire building is selected now we'll use a l enter so first point and uh, you have to zoom in a bit and this is the first point of this and this is the second point and you have to zoom in a bit once again and this is the second point enter yes now we are done so uh, we are done but you can see we are a lot far away from our initial uh, you know, origin I will just expand this line so that I can do this properly and uh, I am going to just bring this uh, drawing down this one and move it down and uh, to this point preferably and we select this and delete now z enter a enter sorry escape everything z a now we are good so now this has been converted into mm and we will delete the overlapping line and now we have only the uh, center line here this is good now we can save this file this is a uh, uh, center line in meter and then we have to do dxf uh, out dxf out command sorry dxf out enter and then uh, we will save the file see the file here center line in meter dxf okay just click on save so uh, this is done and now we can simply close uh, this drawing and uh, this one also yes now once this is done so we'll open stat and then click on uh, new select the folder just select metric and select the folder where you want to save and uh, the file here and uh, then uh, just click on create and then go to file and then go to uh, your new oh, sorry 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 after you click on create just uh, go to file and then go to uh, import okay import dxf file and then a set line in meter watch the stat uh, then uh, click on y up because y is up here just click on ok and the unit you know which unit we uh, prefer this is meter and we prefer kilonewton and then click on ok So this is done, uh, just select all these things and beam tools will pop up and then uh, you have to search for the new to beam tools first and intersect beams and click on OK and you can see all the beams have been created here nice and good. So just uh, go to, uh, we'll just select all the portions where you have the columns here, you can use the help of your original file to see where the columns are and then locate the columns. So we'll go to select and then node cursor and then we start from this area uh, because uh, we are more familiar with this uh, portion and uh, we are having columns here and this is secondary and these are the portion where we are having the columns so these are selected and we will go geometry translational repeat y direction uh, minus 1.9 meter okay and then uh, click on uh, ok now to display the nodes they are use the option of shift plus uh, k ok shift plus k and shift plus n is for the numbers ok shift plus k and then click on add beams so this is the connection between the length level and the length level of the beam and the foundation top of foundation I'll also show you a diagram in a second. Only the portions where you have columns, they should be joined, and in the other portions, it will not be there, right? So, just told you, I'll show you. This is the diagram. You know, point. Uh, this suppose this is point four, and this is point one, one point five. To add this, comes one point nine. So the 
distance from the GL to the PL and the distance from the GL to the FL that is the foundation level ground level to the pink level and the ground level to the foundation level is the total distance here and now we'll go to the just quickly complete the model here go to the front view select this and uh, go to geometry go to translation repeat and then y direction and then we'll go spacing of three meters right and click on this and click on ok and then we'll go to view and isometric view and then we'll join the beams right geometry and uh, add beam option some people ask me why don't you use the option of uh, uh, your uh, join nodes because practically join uh, nodes cannot be used okay I did a mistake here while talking sorry join nodes is not of use because in structures where you have secondary views right where you have secondary beams you need to join the columns at places only where you have the columns I hope you understand that so we'll count whether there are 11 columns 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 so we're good to go now we can use a shortcut go to the front view and now we'll click double escape just select this and double escape and then uh, select along with this columns and now we go boom translation repeat y 3 and then click on ok and then uh, we just select this right click and then a new view and ok uh, view uh, top view and then the portions uh, go to select uh, node cursor select this nodes where you have the headroom geometry boom translation repeat y direction and this will be uh, 2.8 meters for the headroom uh, click on ok and then uh, view uh, uh, isometric view and then uh, geometry add beams now let's add the rotate a bit here add the beams for the headroom portion so uh, this uh, part is uh, complete you can just select display the whole structure or let's add the plates also uh, for the slabs where the portions where you have the slabs four noted plates let's add them okay now next one and go to display whole structure uh, go to front view click and then double escape and select this right click new view top view uh, geometry plates so always remember the portion where you have the staircase that is this portion we don't have plates right don't have slabs this is for just adding the self weight of the slabs we actually don't design the slabs here uh, this is uh, done and then we just go to properties and define the thickness first of the slab it's in meter 0.125 meter click on add then click on close then define the columns here first rectangle uh, 0.3 into 0.3 uh, add so uh, and then for the plane beam plane beam uh, we'll do 250 into 300 0.25 into 0.3 and for the roof beam we'll do 250 into 350 done close this uh, now go to view display whole structure and this is the plate just to assign to view assigned 
then for the this is this don't know this is for the columns then go to select uh, parallel to y uh, sign and yes then this is for the uh, this is the edit and this is for the uh, to 15 300 this is for the plane beam so go to view front view select this and then assign to selected beams assign and yes and then the next one is for the loop beams select the loop beams using control option obviously and assign and yes so once this is done uh, we can assign the supports so use the node cursor front view select you could note tool assign supports uh, create add the fixed supports and uh, assign to selected nodes so select this and then select the nodes again and assign to selected node assign and yes and you can see the view of this whole structure 3d view and 3d rendering view you can see this is the uh, 3d rendering view of the structure uh, blades assigned and properly done and then we go for the loading go to the loading the load case details for that add the definition of the seismic load and let the latest code which is available here indian code and uh, click on generate and then uh, building is in zone 5 so we go zone 5 and we are designing seismic special moment resisting frames okay and uh, then we're going to go medium soil and click on generate and then click on add close this and then we're going to add the loads here add the load here uh, self weight of factor 1 obviously member weight of this is uniformly distributed so 7 for the wall 5 inch walls click on add and uh, 3 for the parapet walls ok floor weight uh, this will be uh, this calculation is a little bit uh, you have to add to show the code but for now it's one i'll just show you so it's a factor of the 0.25 percent of live load that is two plus the floor finish of 0.5 so total it is one and the range uh, is uh, the minimum range is plinth level is zero and this is three meters so it will start from this this floor where you have the slabs so uh, this particular uh, thing will be starting from 2.9 to uh, let's say uh, the total height uh, for where we have the live load uh, will be this this much so 3 meters 6 meters so 6.1 okay click on add close this I uh, will assign this later uh, now load case details add seismic load seismic SLX SLC add and then uh, dead load DL add live load channel add close it seismic load in x direction just let's add it seismic loads factor of 1 it's a maximum factor actually and then seismic load in z direction let's also add the maximum factor uh, this is uh, seismic Z and 1 and add it close dead load let's add all the dead loads here <coughs> so, so load let's add the self weight first top to bottom minus 1 okay and then the member loads member loads will have a minus 7 now since in earthquake don't apply a negative but here we need to apply because it is it has a direction minus 7 for normal walls and minus 3 for your uh, parapet walls and we have the floor finish load floor finish load I already discussed 0.5 and it will minus range we already discussed it is 2.9 to 6.1 add and close and live load also let's add floor loads minus 2 for residential building 2 km per meter square and this range uh, is already discussed 2.9 to 6.1 click on add close okay so uh, first is these uh, 7 km load let's uh, define this sorry assign this uh, go to front view uh, select this sorry 6 not 6 7 
so 7 is selected and then this is selected and this is selected you can see the 3d view which are portions selected and then click on and then for this also we will assign to selected beams assign and yes so this is also assigned now for the 3 uh, that is the parapet walls I can always use this view only to do it a bit sneakily or I will always use the uh, new view option ok sometimes it leads to error but ok yeah so yeah, this also I have to select best option is uh, you know, just directly use the uh, option here for new view but now I have managed to select this for the Okay, this is gone. Okay, I'll just go and do the simplest option front. No need to couldn't have wasted that much time. Okay. So top view and then in this particular portion, uh, in this particular portion we have the seven. Okay, seven selected beams, sign and yes, and glow here and sign and sign and for this three parabet wall just select the parapet walls on the parameters assign to selected beams is sign and yes and for this tree also assign to selected beams is sign and yes so uh, this is done display whole structure self weight obviously assigned to view assign and yes so self weight assigned light load assigned so all the loads are assigned here and then just click on uh, analysis and design analysis commands add analysis ok I will delete the command here now and I will select concrete and then I will select this IS code and then I will go here analysis command and then click on add analysis and then close it so uh, this is done and after this is done I will do all the load combinations and all in the you know RCDC so after this is done we will just do run analysis just to see the analysis is properly done or we have any errors or warnings so one error warning is the standard so you don't even look at it just click on done and then click on save the file Control plus S and then close it so after doing this uh, let's open the RCDC select the start file First of all, we'll just do the uh, column and wall. Let's define the load combinations. using control select all this bring it here ok and uh, add from template for regular structure ok and then the design will be done here and uh, once you do this all the columns which are not safe ok we will just uh, change them right click and redesign column first of all we will change this AP550 which is the current range bar available here and uh, Design okay, it failed at some levels, so uh, no problem in that. We'll just change the unlock and then we'll change the size to 315 to 350. So 
So we'll use this the next size. Four sixteen plus four twelve seems to be a standard one. Let's do this. C then equal to B. Eight twelve. So like that. So once this uh, design is uh, complete, uh, what will we do? We will just uh, uh, download the reports here. Text schedule. Tactile schedule. So we have the column schedules here. Okay, you can see with the reinforcement which is coming. So we'll save this file. First of all, you have to save the uh, you know this RCTC file. So RCTC column design. We'll save this and replace this file. And then we'll just save this drawing. Save this drawing as uh, this would be uh, column layout. Sorry, column schedule. It is not layout. And then we'll go to uh, reports, detailed drawing. Let's see if you not required. I'll just show you on the detailed drawing. So this is the drawing. You can also generate this. But now I just want this import. This one. This is a column. Layout actually. This time. Save this file. Now just click on New. This time we're going for the footing. So for the footing, you need the soil test report, obviously, and also for the depth of the foundation. So just get that sorted out. So I'll just put the values of the soil test report. Feb 50 and net SBC is 120 which we'll use and uh, then click on OK and then just select click on this button and then uh, this earthquake X earthquake C dead load live load select all this bring it here click on OK regular uh, structure OK. And now we we'll also add sizing combination for regular structure. Okay, footings designed, uh, decent size of footings. Go to reports, text schedule, horizontal vertical schedule. Uh, this one, this is good. So it's, uh, first of all, save the file. So it will be RCTC footing design. Uh, save. Then we'll save this uh, footing schedule. Footing layout. Done. Mm, after that, uh, these two things are done. Once save the file, close this. Oh, I shouldn't have closed this. Actually, I have uh, should have gone for new. My bad. So 
select the file once again this time beam design only for the plinth beam save the file pb for plinth beam settings and with this ductile design will go for it So some beams will fail probably. So we'll, okay, beams are passed. Okay, 316 and 312 from bottom, 316 and top seems. Or you can just do 316 and 316 bottom and top. So very good design. This is a schedule. So it is PB schedule. layout okay save the file now only one thing is remaining is the group view Okay, save the file. So uh, now, once this is done, just uh, go and click on uh, uh, settings and just uh, change the ductile design we want and change the rebar. So this is the rebar which is currently we are using. Okay, this is also a very good design, I think. So just click out the report. So we are done here with the design and using this data we can create uh, this drawing so if you want to detail uh, drawing portion I'll make sure I make some videos as well but if you want the detailed portion you can always check out uh, my stat course and if you like my effort in creating this uh, videos make sure you like uh, the video it really encourages and helps in the YouTube algorithm thank you keep learning bye bye